Hello and welcome back to um, Inkscape. Today we're going to look at how to convert a multicolored image into a paper piecing pattern we can cut on the Cricut or the Craft Robo. Uh, this image that I'm using here is a PNG, a ping image, uh, but it would work just as well with a JPEG, a GIF or a bitmap. So first thing I'm going to do is select it and then press the three key on the keyboard to zoom in to see a bit better. And the first thing I have to do is see how many colors of cardstock I'm going to need to recreate this design. Well, we can see there are three blues, plus a red, plus white. So that's five. So if I go to um, Path Trace Bitmap, there is my uh, Trace Bitmap dialog box. The first thing I need to do is select this Colors option because we're going to be uh, tracing the different colors. If I update it without doing that, you can see it just gives me a black and white image. So select colors, and then how many colors are there? Well, we said five, didn't we? So if I turn that down to five, and then update, there is our color image, and there are a couple of problems with it. Um, the text is pretty fuzzy. It uh, hasn't really kept its shape very well that's down to this smoothing option here so I'm going to turn that off and update it again and now you can see the text and in fact the whole image is much cleaner um, but we don't have our mid blue section here it's, we've got dark blue instead so I'm going to turn the colors up one more to six which will give us an extra color for that mid blue section and if I update it now there you can see we now have the mid blue there so if I say OK and close this. One thing I didn't mention when I was counting the colors in this design is that there is a very thin black line around the edge here, um, far too thin to actually cut out on the Cricut or the Craft Robo, so I will actually be removing that later. Um, if I press 5 now to see the whole page, what we actually have are two things stacked one on top of the other. One is the original image we started with, and one is the tracing we've made. So if I drag this off to one side, we can see both of them now. This one, if I click on it and look at the bottom of the screen, you can see it says image. So I know that's the original image that I started with. So I'll move that off the page out of the way for now. I'll delete it later, but for now I'll leave it there for comparison purposes. So this one must be the tracing we've made. It says group of six objects. So I know that's the um, six different colors that we um, traced, uh, one for each color of cardstock. So if I go to Object and ungroup that, they'll all now be separate things, and I can just drag them out to the side to take a look at each one individually. There is the black line that I said was too thin to really cut. So I'm not going to use that, so I'm going to delete it. And this is the white rectangle that's going to give us the white elements of the design. The reason it's a rectangle rather than a circle is that um, this image is, of course, a rectangle with white sections in the corner. I don't want that rectangle, so I'm going to delete that too. So we just have these four pieces. What I'll do when I come to cut it on the Cricut, um, one of these pieces I'll cut it in blackout mode, and that will just give me a plain white uh, solid circle to use as the background of my design. And there you are. All you have to do now is um, select each one, copy it with Control c on the keyboard, click to create a new image, a new file rather. When that opens, there it is, just use Control and v to paste that, and then save it as uh, mid blue or whatever color you want to call it just so you know which file is for each color so once you've done that for each of those you'll have four files I'll close that without saving it once you've done it for each one you'll have four files one for each color that you're going to be cutting out I hope you found that helpful thanks for watching bye bye